boy. How are you? How's things going? Good, good. What do you <laughs> got here? 55 Chevy Bel Air four-door. Well, what can we do for you today? Well, I'm needing some chrome tips put on the back on the exhaust. Okay. Think you could do that for me? Sure. Let's uh, let's take a look. What do you what do you want to do? You want to extend it, or you have some? Uh, I've uh, just uh, I've got some chrome tips that are about eight to nine inches long. Okay. So see if you can cut off the old ones, bring them back, make them stick out just a little bit. All right. I've got a flame kit that's on the car, so I wanted them to stick out a little bit past the bumper so we don't get anything burned up. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I think we can do that. Okay. Uh, why don't I do this? I'm going to have you pull the car up so I have a little uh, better vantage point. But uh, what I'll probably do is uh, cut them off abrasively, just kind of keep the uh, the sparks down, keep it away from the uh, fuel tank. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of using that other process, we're probably going to use the TIG process. Okay. Nice and clean and, uh, and no sparks. That'd be great. Hey, well, welcome back to TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG, and we're gonna do a little, uh, little restoration here, just a minor, uh, minor tailpipe uh, repair, if you will. And what he's got on here is a tailpipe. It's a standard tailpipe, and it's just not quite long enough. And uh, we're gonna show you how we're gonna extend it, put this nice chrome tip on, and uh, it's gonna go beyond the car, just enough to where when he uh, lights off the flames, he's not gonna set the world on fire. So uh, let, let's pull the car up and take a look at it. Sounds great. Okay, so this this is the chrome tailpipe that you want to put on there. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, now we're going to keep the full length of this, and then we're just going to trim the uh, the tailpipe itself. Yes. Now, obviously, this sticks out way too far right now. So, uh, you know, exactly or about how far would you like for this to extend? About two to three inches back, just enough to clear the bumper. Okay, so it'd be somewhere around there. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to crawl into there in just a few minutes. I'm going to mark it, uh, use abrasive cutoff wheel, cut off the amount that we don't need. Now, I'm going to put this back into place, and uh, I'll put a little clamping device, and I'll TIG tack it, and I'll TIG weld it 360 degrees so it's uh, hermetically sealed. Sounds great. Okay, now you, you've got a spark plug under there. Mm -hmm. What does that spark plug do? Well, it's a flamethrowing kit that we've added onto this car, so whenever you're cruising at night at car shows, you can shoot some flames out the back of the car. Okay, so exactly what do you shoot? Is it? It's uh, actual gas. So it, it, what it does is kills the uh, spark to the engine, and it puts spark to the coils that are in the back of the car, and then <laughs> shoots spark plugs into it and shoots the flames right out the back. Okay, so it has the Batman effect then. Pretty much. That's, that's exactly right. That's great. Well, let me, uh, let me crawl underneath and get some things going, and I'm going to trim it and get this in place, and, uh, uh, and then I'll let you watch me do the welding. Sounds great. Okay, I've, uh, I've got a measurement here to where I'm going to uh, put this pipe, extend it out maybe an inch beyond the old pipe. And of course, this one's chrome, and it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to make a mark under here. It's going to be my cut mark. And once I make that cut mark, I'll make a 360 degree cut mark. And I'm going to do an abrasive cut. Uh, be very careful. Make sure you put your eye gear in place. You know, there's several ways of cutting metal. This one's got a very thin uh, abrasive wheel on it, so I'm just going to slit right through it. And I probably won't be able to get all the way through it, so I'm going to drop the bracket here just shortly, and, and a whole tailpipe will come down. I'll be able to finish it off, square it off. And once I square it off, I'm going to put this in place and TIG tack, and then weld it complete. Okay, I'm going to put a tack right about here and another one right about here. Then I'm going to start welding from the bottom dead center as far as I can reach, as far as I can see, and I'm going to weld uphill. And I'll stop several times, but I'll uh, reposition, come to the top here, overlap the top, and then I'll come over to the other side, and I'll tie in to the start of the weld, and I'll come vertical up again to where we'll have it 360 degrees.
Yay, it's welded. Well, we just finished uh, installing these tailpipes. You know, they, they cut out pretty nice. They welded pretty good. It was good metal all the way. Uh, we got the full 360 degree welds on them. And I, I think they look great here. I'm, I'm very impressed. I never knew it looked that good. Well, we're going to have to uh, have you come back in the dark and try these things out for us. Absolutely. How, how's that sound? Absolutely. Well, thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.